Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Vibing at the Dark underscore with Mo. And before we get started in tonight's topic, I want y'all to go ahead and subscribe to my channel, which is like I said, Vibing at the Dark underscore with Mo. Like my video, comment on my video, put it in the algorithm so it can get more views. That'd be greatly appreciated. But, um,. Tonight we're going to be talking about the aftercare of nipple piercing. I was asked to do a video with for the aftercare. And let me put a disclaimer out here that I am not a medical physician and I am not a piercer. So the things that I did to make mine heal, um, you can try it at your own risk. I don't want to get blamed for anything. But just making a video... And letting y'all know what I did. And like I said, if you want to try it, you can go ahead and give it about maybe like three weeks and come back and leave a comment and let me know how it worked out for y'all. But number one, what I did um was I cleaned it like three times a day. Make sure your hands is clean, thoroughly. Wash your hands before you touch it. Wash your hands with antibacterial soap or whatever before you touch it. And I cleaned it. When I, when I took a shower, number one thing, do not put soap on it. Do not put soap on it. Because anything with fragrance in it could cause it to get irritated. Even washing your clothes. So if it was up to me, I would tell you not to use any type of laundry detergent with scent. And don't put soap on it when you're washing your body. Um, Just wash it with regular regular water or whatever and then it tell you not to like if you go on google or anything like that it'll tell you not to move it around but i moved it around at least three times a day because to me the crust will get built up and that's to me that's what caused the infection when that crust start building up and they get kind of hard and then they, it even gets stuck around the ring of the nipple with the bar so um yeah number one wash your hands make sure your hands is very clean Number two, when you washing in the shower or have it, yeah, wash in the shower. Do not put soap on it. Just wash it with regular water. You can take your finger and clean around it, or take a Q-tip. The precision, the precision tip Q-tips, is what I used or whatever. And you can just like swish it around the bar, and then move the bar around. And then I also use. Number two, I also use um, it's called tea tree, tea tree um, piercing spray. And I got it from Amazon. And I'll put a picture of it up in the corner. And you can get it from Amazon. And I put a link in the description box below or whatever where where I got that. And I put that on three times a day. Like I said, when you wake up in the morning, if you work uh, nine to five or whatever, whenever you get off, make sure you clean it and spray that on it. And another thing I did too, which if like I say, a lot of things I did, it's the opposite of what Google tell you to do. Cause when I first got it pierced, I did what Google tell me to do, and it took me a while for it to heal too, and it started to seem like it was getting infected. So I did my own thing. So like I say, wash it three times a day, spray that spray on it three times a day. And then also move it around, move the bar around so it won't get stuck in that crust. Because it's going to get crust on it. And it take a long time for it to heal. It's screaming a long time for your nipple piercing to heal. Like I said, I had mine for four years. And before I actually healed, I think it was like a year. And still yet to this day, I um, experience crusty stuff sometimes. Or sometimes they get irritated. Like... It's going through the process again. So that's normal. That's that's real normal to feel like it, it's not healing. But um yeah, the tree the tree tea piercing spray from Amazon. Do not wash it with soap. Use the Q tip with the precision precision tip. I can't even really say that word right. With the precision tip. That's the one with the pointy tip. Make sure you put that on there. And like I say, move it around. And um, to me, like I say, with Google, they want you to keep it dry. 
to me, I don't, I don't keep, I mean, I didn't, I did let it get dry, like I said, throughout the day. Like, if you're working or whatever, I kept it dry like that. But when, before I go to bed at night, what I did was get a little bit of Vaseline and not get a non-scented Vaseline. Please make sure anything you use, no scent, because that would irritate it. Regular Vaseline. And I put just a tad bit on the, um, on the Q-tip. And I put it around, around the balls of the, of the boy ring. And then, like I said, move it around, like twist it around, move the bar around. So it can, like, to me, like I just said, it gets stiff. It gets stiff. It gets crusty. And keep it, keep it from getting stiff and crusty. That's what I did. And like I said, give it about, like, maybe three weeks and see if that'll work for you. And like I said before, I am no medical physician and I am no piercer. I'm just telling you what I did. You can try it. And I hope it helps. Shout out to Desiree. Who um, messaged me about. A proper. Aftercare. I don't think this is the proper way to do it. But this is what I did. And I found that helpful. And it, it healed. When I started doing that. So clean it three times a day. Use the spray. At night before bed, put a little Vaseline with no scent. Just a tab it. Don't do it don't overdo it. Just a tab it. So it can like moisturize a little bit. Just a little bit. To keep that crust from building up. And um comment back and let me know how it did for you. If you do want to try it. But that disclaimer is out there. I am not, I am not, I am not a medical physician and I am not a piercer. But yeah, let me know how it turned out. And please subscribe to this channel, Vibing After Dark underscore with Mo. If you want more videos about piercings, because I have more piercings. If you want me to share my experience and what I did to um, get them to heal. Or even if the rating of 1 through 10 of the pain level, whatever. I will post more about my other piercings too. Thank you.